Mr. Mr. Shetima, the vice president, you spoke well, but this what this word you spoke is medicine after death. Not at this tip. God is delivering the Biafra from Nigeria. You start saying without them. Okay, go and tell God without them. Let God return them back. Without them, and you kill them. Did I just kill them from 1966? Nigerian coup against Ibo man. Nigerian coup against Ibo man. Uh, 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 July. July uh, 1966 was Nigerian coup against Ibo man. Revolution. They call it a Ibo coup against Nigeria or against Northerners. But July 1966 was Nigerian coup or not an coup against Igbo, which led to anarchy starting from the from starting from from Kano. Up to these days, Shetima, how did you address it when you was governor of Bronu State, my dear, my dear beloved Vice President Shetima? How did you handle the Igbos in your state that time? How do you treat them in that time? When Jonathan Goodluck was the president, how do you people handle his case? Now you know that Igbos are, without them, Nigeria cannot be. Why don't you allow Jonathan to complete? Why do people team up with the West and remove him? Why do you people intimidate him? Is Jonathan not an Igbo man? Huh? That place is, a, is, a, is Cameroon. That side is Cameroon or uh, uh, Ambazonia. Is you not an Igbo man? You people treated him as an orphan and push him away. And you are coming out to tell us without Igbo man, Nigeria cannot make it. And Nigeria will make it without Igbo man, though. Nigeria will make it. Not now that God is about to deliver us. Not now God is answering us our prayer. Not now. Their friends are getting recognition all over the world. You come and tell us without Igbo man, Nigeria cannot make it. Mr. Vice President, your word is a sympathy without relief. Your word is a sympathy without relief.